I first met Wendy Kennedy through mutual friends and church members, and then they moved in down the street from us. So when we became neighbors, we also became good friends. My first impression of Wendy was that she was very real. She was very down to earth. I was very comfortable with her from the very beginning, so it was really easy to befriend her. In 2007, my three-year-old son was diagnosed with leukemia. And of course, there were many uh, gestures and outpourings from our church, a lot of support. But Wendy really became that one person that I really depended on, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, she was the person that would listen to me and let me spill all my fears upon her, put them all on her, and she would listen and she um, would give me encouragement and of course pray for me. One important thing she did was she prayed for our marriage very early on in the, in the uh, crisis that we had. She thought that that was really important that you know my marriage stay strong and, and of course it has. It's been blessed because of, because of her prayers. My first uh, impression or thoughts when, when um, Fuller was diagnosed was fear, of course. Um, but then a peace came over me and I knew that he was going to be okay. And, you know, I know what it's like to fall to your knees and I know what it's like to be picked up. And I, I knew that God was with us from that point forward. And so I really did feel strong. Of course, there were days that I was not strong and Wendy was there for me then. Um, I try to stay positive. Um, we have so much to be blessed. We have so many blessings in our lives, and I try to stay positive, but it's, I'm a mother, and I have fears, and I have doubts, and sometimes it's hard, and, and she's that person I can bounce all that off of.